Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Shamrock Valley. What is going on? You know what? I always want to say, like, the whole hey, hey, hey thing, but I feel like I sound like, uh, oh, what's his name from The Simpsons? They're the clown. <laughs> I swear. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Anyways, anyway, welcome back to the valley, guys. So we've got, uh, we're kind of in the middle of summer here. Looking pretty good. Our fields are all looking fantastic. I'm so excited about this. Uh, hey, look up on the, the ridge side there. Those are all our fields. Everything's grown. Everything's pretty much fertilized, too, to be honest. Um, I got three, three fields we need to fertilize today. And, uh, yeah, that's really much it. Maybe cutting some grass. I want to cut some grass down in this, uh, the, what is it? The sheep field, I believe it is, right down in front of us here. So I want to cut that grass, make it a bit more silage. We're not going to get a lot out of that, especially with the tools we're working with, but uh, we're going to get on that. So that's pretty much all I got on the books for right now, and we'll see if that brings us into harvest season. We're getting really, really close. Really excited about it. So let's get to work here, guys. Bitter patter. Let's get at her. Clutch simulations. Made her down to a Scatterbrook farm. I believe this is the pig farm. Um, and the chicken farm, obviously, here as well. Hello, chickens. Little velociraptors. Um, yeah, look at our... Is it canola? I believe it's canola, right? The yellow one? Yeah, it's got to be. Look at that. Wow. So we got to do uh, third stage fertilization in here. It's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Now, my problem is when you're doing this, I can never see what the heck I'm looking at. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, you never tell what, how far over it goes, alright? Anyways, we'll start down by the water here. Uh, cause by the time I feel like hiring someone, I don't want him to drive into the water again. Yeah, I love when they do that. That is fantastic when they do that. Alright, so we'll get on the fertilization train. Perfect. Um, yeah, so we're looking really, really good right now. This will only take us a little bit today. And then uh, we're going to be moving into harvest here right away. I think that is hopefully the plan for later on today. We shall see how that all turns out. But uh, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. I've uh, been actually selling off some of the old equipment that we're not going to be needing anymore this season. Because uh, we've been busy plowing, we've been busy cultiv cultivating, we've been busy uh, seeding. And all that stuff, we are done with that for now. At least for now. And I'm really hoping that uh, come the new season, we won't need any of that stuff. I hope that we can go buy some shiny new equipment. Now, yeah, that's going to be tough. Uh, I think we've got enough fields and enough crops to be able to pull quite a bit of money together. I think we're going to be okay with that. But uh, you know what? I haven't done the math. <laughs> to be honest, I just don't have enough experience in, in FS17 to know. So, fingers crossed. We'll see how it turns out in the wash, but uh, I think we're going to be... Hey, it's a pooch. No, it's a fox. Hey, fox. Um, anyways, <laughs> oh, look, castle. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm hoping that we're going to have enough cash to to be able to buy some new shiny toys come the new season. Now, the stuff I would love to do that I don't see happening would be some forestry equipment. Do some sustainable logging. Hint, hint. Hint, hint. <laughs> um, but I don't think that's going to happen. So I don't know if I'm going to be able... I mean, the forestry equipment is just so expensive to get into. Uh, I don't know how I'd ever be able to to start that right now without getting uh, anything first. So we may have to focus more on uh, just some tractors. And I'd love to get some livestock of some sort as well. Just so we can get that sustainable income going. And... Uh, yeah, so that's kind of where my head's at there. We'll see what we can do. We'll see. It might happen. It might not. It depends on really what we can pull from this crop. If we can get several hundreds of thousands of dollars off this crop, then yeah, okay, let's do it. But, uh, I mean, that's tough to say right now. And then you're going to have the added expense, monthly expense after that, right? So, um, who knows? We'll have to play this by ear. But, for right now, I'm going to finish this field off. Uh, yeah, we'll finish this field off. That's about right. Probably a little bit too in, but it's okay. Um, well, let's uh, let's speed things up a bit, get down this field, and I will see you guys in the next one. We've 
got our helper down below working away still down in the pig farm um, he still has I'm gonna get him to do I think it's field three and four which are just up straight behind the church there those two fairly large fields need to be fertilized for the last time as well but we're gonna let him take care of that we're gonna go have some fun cutting some more grass I enjoy cutting grass I don't know what it is about cutting the grass but especially with this old style blade uh, I just kind of find it fun so we're gonna cut through a bunch of this grass let's make sure we get uh, this guy working properly for us Come on, muchacho. Rock and roll. Dude, you're killing me here. What is going on? Alright, I'm gonna go back up, take a quick look, see what this guy's problem is here. Is he stuck on the fence? He's gotta be stuck on the fence. It's the only thing I can think. Yeah, he's stuck on the fence. Ah, uh, dude. You're killing me. You're killing me here. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, we'll get this guy squared away. Come on. Like, <sighs> come on, man. What are you doing to me here? <laughs> all right. Let's try this again. Um. Yeah, I think you're a little off. Uh, hey, no, 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 don't go that way, don't go that way, no, stay where you are, don't do that, you are driving me nuts, what is going on, ah, thank you, all right, <laughs> all right, let's try this again, so, <laughs> we are cutting some grass down here on, what field is this again, oh yeah, it's the sheep field, I believe it's the sheep field, uh, shit, I'm gonna drive that right. Please don't be a dummy. Thank you. Come on. Not quite. Let's uh, let's square this away quickly. Just one one time. One time. Should have do it. I think we've got her squared away now, so she can follow us properly. That looks a little bit better, maybe. Maybe not. Tough to say. Still driving on the grass, eh? It's so difficult for you to figure out what I want you to do. Let's see if she's got her now. Alright. There, that looks better. Thank you. Anyways, so we're going to finish off. We're going to cut this field up. Uh, the fertilizing shouldn't take too long. Down below, look at the fields here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, boy. Uh, oh, I love it. The valley is coming together. So we're going to go uh, take care of the fields down below. It should be almost done down the way there on the bottom. That, that's such a pain to go all the way down to the pig farm. You can see all the bright yellow down the bottom there. That is the field. It's such a long ways to go to get down there. Um, I don't have any solutions for that right now. But hopefully one day in the near future, I mean, I won't have to deal with that. I can load stuff up onto a tractor or something. To get in the combine down there... That is going to be a serious pain. <laughs> uh, oh well. What do you do? I mean, we're on the cheap still. I mean, we got 35 grand. I could possibly buy a trailer. Uh, Toad behind. I still got that Mack truck. That old Mack truck that's fantastic, actually. I love that truck. And I haven't really had a chance to use it too much yet. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll buy a trailer and we can tow it down there with that at least instead of having to struggle all the way down the hill. Because I'm going to get used out of that trailer if I buy it, right? So maybe we'll do that instead. Anyways, that's food for thought. Let's uh, let's work on this, this uh, pasture here for a bit. Uh, and I will see you guys once we have a chance to move that fertilizer up to the top again. We'll see you guys in a bit. Let's go with the speedy. That is it. <clears throat> that is all for the fertilizing of field 38, our big canola field down at the pig farm. I kind of love it down here, down in the flower bed, like it's or the flower bed, the river bed. He run through the middle of the field here. We'll just scooch through. Ooh, like there's this little coolie here, this creek, river runs right through it. 
You've got always got a bunch of ducks down here. Let's see if we can find some ducks. Ducks! Where'd he go? There he is. Hey, buddy. Feed him some bread on the way by. Hey, look at these guys. I was just hanging out here, watching you work in the field. There's always animals down here as well. Uh, that fox we saw a little bit earlier. You got the donkey just around the other side. There's a cat down here. You got all your chickens. There's just stuff always going on down here. I love being down here. Um, I might have to find a way, jump the old fence, to uh, buy some fields and spend some more time down here. Maybe we get some pigs. That'll be a good way. To, a good excuse to be down here, right? Because right now, this is the only field that we have that's down in this region. Uh, everything else is up on top of the hill. Which is kind of unfortunate. Um, it's convenient, but unfortunate. If that makes any sense. So, anyways, we're gonna... Ooh, let's get this off the ground. There we go. We're heading back up the top of the hill again. We've got fields three and four, I believe. Three and four. I think we got to fertilize those two uh, large fields. <laughs> we still got to finish cutting the grass as well. Um, yeah, the grass in the uh, the mutton farm. Is that right? No. In the sheep farm. Sheep pasture. We got to keep on cutting the grass there. And uh, yeah, we'll see what that turns out to be. It's not going to give us much silage. I was hoping to make a little bit more silage, to be honest. It's not like we need the silage for anything. And to be perfectly honest, I don't really know how I'm going to unload it yet into the biogas plant when I decide to get rid of it. I might have to buy some kind of a belt system, I think. Uh, let's go this way here. So, let's uh, get up to the top of the hill. I'll figure that out later. I'm not going to concern myself too much with that problem for right meow, but... Uh, brain! Soon enough, we will be having to figure that problem out. So, anyways... Let's get back to fertilizing and back to cutting, and uh, we'll see where we go to after this. It finally looks like we're going to get our first load of hay silage off this field. Uh, it's taking quite a bit, actually. I'm going to only get two more loads of it, so you know what? I'm going to go jump in that tractor right now, take it up, give it a dumper ruski. But, um, yeah, oops, it just takes so much to, uh, to pull off anything off these fields. There's just not enough grass here. Oh, where am I going? Where am I going? All right. Oh, which way am I going? Which road am I on? Ah, I gotta remember I'm in Ireland, not North America. All right. So we're still fertilizing over in field four. Put them up in the field three, but uh, things are looking good. Oh, look at this. I am struggling. They see me struggling. Um, yeah, I don't know what we're going to get out of this, and I really don't even know how I'm going to pay it off yet. Uh, I've got that one pusher trailer that uh, I can use, but I can't use that to... Oh. Uh, is it here? No, that's not it. It's the next one. I don't even remember where my, where my silage pit is. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I can't load, I don't think I can load it in the bio ba my biogas plant with that particular trailer, so that's not going to work for me, unfortunately. So I'll need to either have some kind of a belt system built or come up with another solution. And even loading these right now is going to be a bit of a pain. I mean, I think the snow blower slash silage blower is going to be my best option there. Let's be realistic. I think that seems to be the best way of doing things now. Now it is. Um, but uh, I have no old school equipment I can use really for that. It's going to make life easy. I don't want to use that little tractor with the uh, the bucket. That would just take <laughs> forever. <laughs> Come on, get out of the trailer. Come on, we're done. We're done, yeah. All right, good Nolan, close enough. Got seven pieces of grass still in the back, but what do you do? Um, yeah, that's going to take us a while to take care of all that. So, not worried about it, though. I mean, this is this is a side job thing. This really is. This ain't our money source. This is just a little moonlighting, I like to call it. Uh, if we can make a little extra here for later, hey, man, all the better. All the better, all the better. And plus, it gives me something else to do. Because <laughs> I don't want to fertilize when I can't see the fields because it's too deep right now. So I have to hire that out. I'm sub-hiring that stuff out. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to keep on working away on this, and you know what, to be perfectly honest, I think we're going to see you uh, come come the next day here. There's not much left to do here today. We'll finish this off, 
and we'll see you guys in the morning. Welcome back to Shamrock Valley, guys, and look at what we got going on here. Let's just take a quick boo here. Oh, yeah, 100%. We are ready to harvest. Uh, we're not even out of summer yet, but we're going to start harvest early because I'd like to get some of these crops off the field. Might take a bit of time. We'll see how this all works out in the wash, but uh, pretty excited about this. It looks fantastic up here. we got, I think, three crops we can pull today if we want. But now you remember our old red harvester? Yeah, there was a glitch in it. It uh, was broken, and I couldn't use it. In fact, the, uh, yeah, the swath wouldn't, I couldn't get the pipe to come out. She was damaged, and, uh, well, we've upgraded it just a little bit. One of our neighbors had one of these bad boys sitting around. I don't even know how you pronounce the name of this thing. The Fort Schritt? Fort Schritt? <laughs> uh, yeah, so, we'll be taking this one out instead. This actually looks pretty cool. I'm actually excited. It's, it's a pretty big upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> it's still older, but uh, it's actually a pain to drive, to be honest, because it's uh, so long in comparison. So we're going to drive this one. This is going to be our har harvester for the year. We're going to start harvesting some wheat. Uh, but before we get too far into it, you know what? Before we get up there, I'm going to run back down and grab uh, the tipper as well. So just bear with me. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm not sure if our tractor is going to be able to pull this or not once we're loaded. But it's the most powerful tractor we got two tippers hooked up to it. <laughs> uh, I hope it works. All right. All right. Well, we can shut that off for now. Okay, so we will drop this right about there. Now, I hope that that header, uh, we better open this all the way. I don't want to destroy my crop when I go through. Um, I think that header will fit through the gate. I think. Maybe. Oh. Fingers crossed. So this thing is a bit of a peg to move around, unfortunately. It's just not the most uh, nimble vehicle in the fleet. Oof. Come on, Betsy. <laughs> All right, well, I'll take it. It's in there. Uh, come on, let go. I don't have to move this trailer, now I'm stuck on the trailer. Sorry, sorry my trailer, yep, yeah. alright, so I'll use that, I'll move that in a second. Now, if I can actually, you know what, maybe I'll move it, no, I don't want to do it right now. We'll, we'll do it afterwards. Uh, can I fit? Will it fit? It's not going to fit through that gate, that is unfortunate, but you know what, maybe I can get it the hard way here, let's see. Uh, I need to get that in and then ride it up. There we go. Oh, there we go. Excellent. All right. I think uh, we should be good to go. Uh, straw swath on this one. Let's see. So we will double check and make sure that, uh, oops, wrong one, that our pipe moves good because that wouldn't work on the last one. And. What do we have for a swath? Do we have a change? Disable swath. Boom. Perfect. I think that's the, what the one I want. Yeah, that's definitely the one I want right there. I do not want to be bailing any of this. Let's make sure. That's what I want. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, this is going to be fun. All right, so I've been looking forward to this. You guys know how much I love cultivating, or cultivating, I should say, uh harvesting it is the best part for me by far all right we get rid of this now now that we know what we're doing here and this true in this cultivator <laughs> oh, this thing is awesome all right um things are looking good things are looking good on another front guys i wanted to let you know that i think we've reached a bit of an agreement well, i don't know if it's an agreement or not but uh, Goham Logging has kind of decided not to go ahead and log too much more, at least from what I'm aware of. So my understanding is they are going, they've done what they need to do. And the, the last area, they're not going to be planning on any logging anytime soon, which is fantastic. I, I'd like to say it's a compromise, but to be honest, I think it's just laziness. But hey, you know what? I'm not going to complain. <laughs> so regardless of which, 
the safe spectacle hashtag is still strong uh it's still out there and i think we need to keep that going just to keep them in check and make sure that uh, you know go ham logging doesn't decide to go any more do any more ridiculous changes to what is what's going on there i think he's done enough damage already and i hope he's aware of that <laughs> <laughs> My other quick question is, now, he's got uh, Mr. Alien Jim on his side somehow, and I'm, I'm a little bit un flabbergasted by that, to be perfectly honest. Um, Mr. Alien Jim is kind of the founder of Spectacle Island. And not only that, Goham, is, Goham Logging actually stole all his gold, so... I mean, it's just kind of twofold. I just don't really understand uh, how... Alien Jim can be supporting Goham logging in this endeavor. But hey, each their own, I guess. <laughs> in all seriousness, guys, uh, I've been really enjoying your guys' videos. It's been classic. This little battle has been a lot of fun. Um, keep it up. Look forward to the in next couple episodes. <laughs> uh, really enjoying that. So uh, make sure you, if you guys have not been checking out the, those particular episodes, hit the card or the link below and go check those out. Well, not right now. Wait till you're done this episode, but soon. <laughs> All right. So let's get one load finished here. Uh, if I'm smart, I should be able to just kind of back up against the side of the hedge here once we get down to the end. Yeah, we'll do that instead of going all the way down. Whoa, don't want to go off the edge of that. Look at all the uh, the wheat in there. That looks good. Now, I think it's this. No, nope. this button. No, nope. this button. No, nope. it's got to be that one, isn't it? No, no, that's not it either. Ah, there we go. It's a directional pad, and I get confused which direction to push. I get so confused. Okay, so if I'm lucky, I can just leave that there. We'll see. We will see. We will see. Oh yeah, like a glove. You'd almost think I know what I was doing. <laughs> Fantastic, all right, so this will load that up. Ooh, that's a lot more than I thought was gonna be in there. Oh, I'm in the wrong tractor, that's why. All right, there we go. That's still like a full, yeah, it's a full hopper. That's crazy. That's a lot. Full tipper. All right. Well. Uh, okay. Well, that's about that for that. Awesomeness. All right. Let's continue on. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today. Uh, I'm going to continue uh, doing some more plowing and enjoying this for a bit. But thanks so much for stopping by and watching the video. Um... Yeah, remember, if you did enjoy the video, hit that like button. And, of course, if you're not a subscriber already, hit that sub button so you can keep up to date with what we're doing over here. And last of all, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, whatever day it is for you. But uh, we will see you guys next time. I would say, once again, drive fast and take chances, but that doesn't make sense in the farming scope of things. So just have a great day, guys. That's all I got for you. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Cheers. See ya. See ya.